<laughs> yep, another piece of gear. But yes, it's a lot of fun and I can't get enough of it. I've been playing with it for the last week that I've had it. Using it where smoke might be needed, but you don't want to actually have a fire indoors, stuff like that. So many opportunities. I can't list all of them, but what we will do today is go over um, what you get with it, how you operate it, and what settings come on it, like what you can do to customize it. And by no means am I an expert in using a fogger for shots, photo, or video. This is my first one. This I'm a novice. This is I picked it out of the box. I started playing with it, and the shots I'm showing you today are what I got as somebody just using, just starting. If you see what I can do and you like it, you definitely can do way better. And I'm hopefully going to get better at it as well. The thing here is don't just go buy gear to buy gear, but if you're creative and it's going to assist you in your creativity, go ahead. That might be the thing you pull the trigger on. I feel like this is definitely a tool to help assist in creativity. So let's talk about it. Let's show, I'm gonna show my open boxing and talk about what you get with it. So here's what you get. You get the main unit, you get all the adapters. So you get you get the, uh, I guess you would call it a fan adapter where it just fans it out and br fans it out wider. You get a nozzle adapter, which brings it to a thinner um, extraction where you can kind of aim it a little better and be able to control where you're sticking it, where you're putting it. Three different angle adapters that come connected. Foam pieces that you can put over those to slow down the fan, spread it out a bit and control it even more. You get the smoke iodizer by itself and it screws right in to your main unit. And you don't want to over tighten it, but tighten it in firm. Then you get your main piece that covers that, get that screwed on and you're ready to start fogging. A lot of fun stuff comes with a little bit of fog. I did contact, I did talk with Telesyn and they did say that it is the same stuff you would use in a normal fog machine. So coming up on Halloween season, you definitely can get a hold of a big container of that if you want it. But they did also say they're going to be selling their individual fog liquid soon. So hopefully that would be something you can just purchase straight through Telesyn if you'd like to have extras on hand. I filled this once and it's still more than half full and I've been using it for a week almost every day, just trying to play with it as much as I can. So it lasts quite a bit considering what it does for you. So let's go ahead and talk about the settings. To turn it on, you'll just push and hold on the power button. And then you'll see it turns on, shows you the main screen and it's on uh, free is the setting you'll see up top right here. You've got four main buttons for control and then that's your trigger, I guess you would call it, or igniter or how you set off the fog. So you've got your fog amount on your left side and your fan amount on your right side. Currently we're on this setting up here where it says free. Oh, let's go ahead and push a button. So where it says free, you push up or down on the plus and negative. You got steam, fog. Fog's just gonna put out as much volume as possible basically. And you got dry ice. These are your presets. And then you can play with it yourself. So dry ice, you're basically getting a lot of fog, very little fan movement. And then you can play with your different tips and the um, foam pieces to kind of change how it's coming out, how it's spreading out and all that fun stuff. So yeah, lots of opportunity there. So if we hit this little button that's got like the switch, the two different pointing arrows on it, it basically switches through our settings. So you hit it once, it takes you down here. This allows you to set a timer. So you not only, you don't have to push and hold this in. Once you set your time, you can tap it and it'll just keep going until that timer runs out. You can stop it by tapping it again, but it will let you go all the way up to 200 seconds. That's a pretty long time for this to be kicking out. I'm gonna show an example here where I only ran it for 20 seconds on fog setting and you can see how fast it fills up the space. But we're going 20 seconds fog mode. I'm gonna move it around. And fills the space so fast for the size of this, plenty of opportunity <laughs> to put out as much fog as you need 
for a pretty decent sized space um, by putting the timer on or using it like I did in this scene where I take the remote and then uh, ignite it inside of my refrigerator, trying to emulate opening up a refrigerator on a hot day with having steam just come pouring out of it when you open the door. Okay, so keep going through our settings and it gets you to where you can at, basically, so now we're at where we can adjust the fog or the fan. So we're on fog right now. So fog's ignited. So if I adjust it, I'm turning that down so I can manually turn it all the way down. I can manually set it wherever I want it at. And like I said, at any point you just start and it starts coming out. And I take this off, and then if I did it, it comes out a lot harder, as you see. So that's it with the fan all the way down and fog at half. So it starts shooting out like crazy. I'm going to back up here, so look. So then switch through it again. I get to my fan and I can adjust how much my fans kicking out. And subsequently I just can cycle through my settings and adjust them however I'd like. So both at minimum and even at minimum at both, we're getting a nice little atmospheric fog for my little space. What do you think? I think this thing's pretty awesome. It works well. I haven't tested how far away I can get, but I was able to stand outside of my refrigerator with the door shut on a fridge with metal doors and stuff like that, and it operated just fine. You would think the metal doors might interfere with it some. But here, let me just do a test right now while you guys are sitting here. I want a lot of fog. We'll do about mid fan. I'm going to set it on the table here. Actually, let's put it so that you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and use the quarter 20 mount that's on the bottom of it. So I'm going to go to the other side of the house. Well, I'll go two rooms that way. So we'll see how it goes. What's up, dude? How'd it go? It looks like it came out. I was going to say when I came back that you can't really tell if it's connected or not when you're in the other room, but I was wrong. I think the Wi-Fi looking signal here tells you if you're connected or not. So I, it was reading full the whole time. So I wonder how far you can get away from it, but like how far are you going to try to get away from it? You kind of got to know what you're doing. So I think, uh, you know, 50 feet is definitely safe to say it's going to at least last there. And I'm sure it actually says somewhere on their site, how far it gets away from it. All right. So the manual said 10 meters, which is like they're between 30 and 40 feet in imperial scale or whatever they call it here in America. I was more than 30 feet away and around corners through walls. So I don't know. I think it'll go farther. I think you're looking at least 50 feet. In my mind, I'm thinking that's probably what you're going to get. But I think it's going to show that you lost signal because those will go away if you lose signal. Bottom line, this thing's a blast. And if you're trying to up your creativity. This might be something to look into and purchase. And I know there's other brands that sell them, but I think from what I'm seeing from these other brands, you definitely get your bang for your buck with this. Check them out. If you want to purchase one, please use my affiliate links. I'll get a little bit of a kickback for doing this video for you guys to see this and demonstrate it. And it won't cost you any extra. So I appreciate the affiliate link usage if you do so. If not, it's whatever. I'm glad I was able to do the review for you guys. And if you enjoyed the review, got something out of it, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get more reviews on budget videography, gear, tips, tricks, stuff you could use to better suit your needs of being creative. If you want to see some stuff on one of my favorite cameras that I use and learn about it, check out the video right here. And I hope you guys go get creative, have fun, maybe pick one of these guys up and I'll see you guys next time with another one. Peace out. Later.